Posters have covered the landscape of Chennai city for decades now. Public spaces are plastered with posters of political parties, their beloved leaders, or giant portraits of actors and their movies. It is not only the compound walls of government buildings, but walls of several arterial roads in the city are lined with layers of posters. Many urban dwellers believe it is distasteful and blatant misuse of public spaces. Chennai is a beautiful city. People of Chennai are proud of their city. They are not only proud, they are very possessive of their city. The people will be happy if their city is even more beautiful. So we want to make Chennai and Singara Chennai. Government of Tamil Nadu, under the leadership of uh, our Honorable Chief Minister, has already declared that in Chennai, the Singara Chennai 2.0 project will be taken up as a part, subset of the entire Singara Chennai 2.0 project. We have taken this particular concept that our public walls, public spaces should look beautiful. In all the walls, whenever the people used to go around, they used to see ugly posters, whether they are political or non-political, on, on the walls. So, we made Chennai virtually poster free. Now also, on an everyday basis, we keep on removing the posters. And, but we want that all the public places, where the people actually, when they drive through, they see the walls, they should, instead of having some ugly writings over there or uh, removed posters, remnants of removed posters, there we should see the culture of Tamil Nadu. To tackle this situation, the Greater Chennai Corporation has initiated the beautification of public spaces by engaging artists to paint the city. As a part of this project, more than 1 lakh posters have been removed across all 15 zones. What happens to the wall paintings by political parties during the electoral campaigns? When I mentioned the issue of removal of posters to our Honorable CM, we got immense support. Please go ahead, not only do that, but also beautify that. Not only remove the posters on the bus stand, but also put good messages of uh, uh, the, the tree planting, covering up the mask. But that's what the, we got the support. And the government of Tamil Nadu put in the budget of Tamil Nadu itself, stating that Chennai will be posted basically. Once we are assured that yes, we have made the society uh, uh, aware of the concept that Chennai is poster free and uh, they should not print posters, then we will take up the next step of ensuring that the public walls are also free of the political paintings etc. Artists are the backbone of this project and many are determined to bring back the beauty of this historic city and do it tastefully. So now the The Chennai Corporation has joined hands with private companies and NGOs to take this initiative further. Have you seen the Indra Gandhi Railway Station mural art? This was an initiative kick-started by Start India Foundation and other organizations to raise awareness in the fight against HIV AIDS. Environmentalist Foundation of India EFI, an NGO founded by Arun Krishnamurti, has also collaborated with Greater Chennai Corporation to make this initiative an environmentally friendly one. The 1000 feet Thiruvika Bridge in Adyar is being painted with different wildlife species by EFI. India as a nation loves her colours, the drama, the music, the art. So art is a significant platform and a medium through which we try to reach people. The public wall paintings that we do are one such an effort where through imagery of birds, snakes, the territorial animals and different life forms, we sensitize the larger public on the existence 
and the need for conservation of these life forms. And the latest ambitious effort by the Greater Chennai Corporation Administration is to beautify the city. And what better way to beautify the city than paint natural heritage and information on Chennai's wildlife and habitats. So starting from the Raj Bhavan, Adayar, Villivakam and several pockets of North, Central, South Chennai, we have taken up walls ranging to the length of nearly 60 kilometers, public walls, which we are painting with information on local wildlife and habitats with their English and Tamil names, so that as we drive by, as we walk on these roads, we don't have to look at dirty walls or uh, postered walls, plastered walls. We can sensitize ourselves by looking at these paintings and also learn. At EFI, as an environment group, we have to focus not just on beautifying, we have to focus on purposeful beautification. Our paintings efforts are to create India's largest ecological walking museum uh, in the city of Chennai where you are driving from Raj Bhavan to Mayapur and uh, along the walls you will get to learn about at least 130 different birds where you will learn about the frogs, where you will learn about the leopards. So that's the whole idea. Yes, sometimes there are miscreants who come stick posters, who even urinate on our paintings, who do a lot of things. But any public property is exposed to such kind of damage. We have to be patient for the mindset change to happen. It is happening. The number of posters and the plasters that used to take over these walls in the past has drastically reduced. Citizens volunteering to participate in this initiative is crucial to make the successful, say, experts. We have to climb the hill higher and higher. We will never reach the top of the hill. Even if you, uh, that hill is this, this sort of hill for beautification, up, up uh, uh, hill task is always there for any city, whether it is in India, America or Europe. So we have to keep on doing more and more so that better services are made available for the citizens of our city.